Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to dethatch this lawn with this dethatcher on Dad It Yourself. Hey, good afternoon, and welcome to the 12th sunny day of 2020 up here in the Pacific Northwest. It's actually not that sunny, it's kind of, we'll call it hazy and partly cloudy. And here's my lawn. If you've been following my channel and my videos, part one and part two about moss removal and weed killing. So I just mowed the lawn, a little bit shorter than normal because we're gonna be dethatching today. But let's get a little thing, look. Crabgrass is pretty much dead. And if we walk over here, uh, you can see it's getting a little brown. So I cut a little shorter so most of the leaves are off and we're getting down towards the stalks. But it's going to be time to turn on the irrigation system probably today. Uh, we've had some sprinkles here and there for the last couple of days. but So the ground's moist, but not to the point where I would like it to be. Oh, look at that, all the dead moss in there. So, we're going to be dethatching today. And if you saw my last Sun Joe video, you'll know that my dethatcher died. I loaned it to a friend of mine, and using advice from me, uh, he ended up damaging it, actually. Um, I, took in the, I took it apart, tried to fix it, and unfortunately the part that was broken was not a serviceable part by the end user. I called up Sun Joe, and they were so kind as to fix it and replace it under warranty, and I received it. And unfortunately, just due to timing and scheduling, it's been sitting in a box for probably about six months now. Um, so if you don't know what thatch is, let's talk about thatch. So thatch is a layer of living and dead grass shoots, stems, roots, and other stuff that forms down on the soil surface. So down in here, you can see all this brown stuff down here. Okay, right there. There's some thatch right there. So in some of my yard, it's heavier than others, but a little bit of thatch is okay. Um, half an inch, anything more than that starts preventing things like fertilizer and water and sunlight from getting down there. So, let's get this dethatcher unboxed. So what is dethatching? Dethatching is the act of removing that dead layer of grass from between the blades and down to the soil surface. And you can do that a multitude of ways. Uh, you could use a leaf rake, you could use a specialty dethatching rake like this, or you can use a power rake slash power dethatcher is the term most of you are used to. I have a small yard and using the manual method would be backbreaking for me. So as you see in these different uh, highlights here, it is a lot of work just to pull a little bit. You can do it if you're looking for a nice workout uh, or if you have a smaller yard, go ahead, try it. But for me, I'm gonna use a power rake or power dethatcher. So here's my replacement dethatcher, scarifier from Sun Joe. Um, it is electric and it has a cord. So you have to be mindful of the cord while you're using it. You don't want to uh, run over the cord. You can rent a gas unit at one of your local equipment places. A little bit more expensive, a little bit more industrial. Um, there are no battery operated ones that I'm, I'm aware of. Um, it would be really nice if this was a, came in a 40 volt version. Are you listening, Ryobi? 40 volt the Thatcher. So we've got the bag. Uh, don't like the bag. Throw the bag Nope, don't use the bag. Just gets in the way. Handles. Everything out here. Get this thing 
out of here. comes pre-installed with the scarifier blade and then this is the power raking blade or dethatching blade as many people call it but technically scarifying and power raking are both methods of dethatching that's all that box over there put some tools and put this together Okay, there it was, five minutes and a Phillips screwdriver and this thing's ready to go. Comes pre-installed with the Scarifier blade, so I'm gonna do the Scarifier in the backyard and then go ahead and switch out that blade and I'll show you how easy that is. And then we'll power rake the front yard and probably power rake the backyard after we Scarify it. But before I get started, this tool, like any others, read the owner's manual and understand the warnings and cautions that come with it. If you don't follow those directions, serious harm could come. It's a big warning sign right there on the front for a reason. So I have this thing set to zero right now. You'll probably see me adjusting it a couple of times till I get a feel for how it's going to react to this grass. This lawn is a full sun all day yard, so it's a little bit drier, but it's a little spongy because it's been raining. Uh, the other thing about a corded tool I wanted to talk about was cord management. Got it tied in a knot using the cord keeper they've got there. And then I've got a 50 foot extension cord that's all faked out. It's a Navy term for my Navy buddies. So that I don't have any knots or it doesn't stop me halfway. Let's get started. All right, finished with the Scarifier. And as you can see, it pulled up some stuff. The Scarifier blade does not have as many tines on it as the Power Rake blade. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be pulling some more up. So what I'm gonna do is actually grab my rake and my green bin and pull up most of these big clumps by hand. It'll just be easier. And then I will put the power rake attachment on there. We'll run it over again. We'll see how it looks and go from there. So here you can get a really good look at the Scarifier versus the power rake. This has blades that cut right into the dirt. Look at all that dirt that was kicked up. And this has these nice little fingers that comb the grass. So to change this, Two 10 millimeter bolts. Got a socket right on there, but you can use a ratchet. Comes right out. Take that out. run it again all right just wanted to show you guys that I raked everything up from the scarifier got a big old pile over there got a big old pile over here and I get this monster right here look at this thing holy crud notice there's almost no green in that it is all dry and I still have to do the power rake
we're done with the power raking and look at all that it pulled up yeah it definitely drops out as I make the turn imagine how many times I would have to stop and empty that little basket out if I was using that we got some more out here and all across out in there you can see every time I made the turn to head back down that way it dumped out all right I'm gonna get this raked up and we're going out front all right, let's power rake this front. It's gonna be nuts, I can tell. I'm done with that looks pretty heavy through here again where I was doing my turnarounds I think right here I probably wasn't working slow enough or walking slow enough but I kind of got my pace in over here and then over here in the curb strip or the boulevard stripe or whatever you call it for where you're from just big heavy heavy piles look at that over here big one couple of spots I want to show you guys real quick that I thought were pretty interesting um, this one right here, this is where all that moss was from my first video. You can see it just yanked it all right up out of the ground. And then over here on my neighbor stripe, I share with my next door neighbor. So all through here, if you remember, this was all Poa Anua and it just ripped it out. I mean, big, huge piles. Of green because that's it's just a weed it has a weak uh, root system so it just cleaned it right out of the lawn I mean there's a little bit left over here and some of that will probably rake up in a minute but yeah it took most of it right out of the ground nice oh. ah. so this is all the thatch I pulled out of the front yard it took me about 45 minutes to rake this up I'm gonna throw this in the green bin, break out my mower again, and run the mower over the lawn one more time today. A couple hours worth of work in that Sun Joe to Thatcher, and this lawn looks amazing. In my next video, I'll be talking about lawn foods, fertilizers, humic acid, and iron to really make your lawn pop. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and if you do hit that bell for notifications i've got some videos over here you may be interested in subscribe buttons right over here thanks for watching dad it yourself